I think, I think some of the antics, Derek, I think some of the, these are World Cup winners, Champions League winners, they won the Liga numerous times, these Madrid players. The antics of Ramos and Pepe are disgraceful for football. This is not worthy of a, of a Real Madrid player. And but that's not new. We've seen both of them I know, but do I don't stuff know, like that before. I, I don't know why they let them get away with it for so long. Because time and time again, and this is what, what puts a lot of people of watching Spanish football, because there's more people on the floor, there's more play acting, there's more arguing, than the ball is actually in play. And in the end, uh, an Atletico player tried to help Hernandez with cramp, and even then Ramos got involved, and, and they started arguing but, and fighting. But pushing. did Atletico not want this to turn into a war, a battle? Yeah, but Slow everything down, be as niggly as you possibly can. And like, like the team is in Simeone's image. He was no angel when he plays. I know that, and, and yes, it probably plays into the hands, but you don't need to ask Ramos or Pepe for a fight, because they started murdering an empty house. These two. Um, this well, is, that's, this is that's the way they are. M M Simeone erred on the, uh, Yeah, but, but doing they that. do it all the time around Madrid. They don't need to play Atletico Madrid, even when they play Barcelona, if they play other games. It's always happening, and I, I don't, just don't know. The, the, the brand of Real Madrid, it's a constitution, worldwide known. And I don't know why nobody will have a word or has a word with these guys and say, listen, show them the clip from yesterday, show them what they do on the pitch, how disgraceful it is, because it's not worthy of Real, Real Madrid. And they do it time and time again. And it's just, it's pathetic to watch. Richie? It's been that way a while though, and again, I don't know who would pull them aside and say, lads, this is not how to play football, because if someone within the club had an issue, it would have been pulled up long ago. You could see what's an El Clasico game earlier in the season, both teams were doing it. It's scrappy and it's ugly, and there was an incident towards the end that Tengisco went down claiming a penalty kick, and he tumbled three times, minimal contact. And it's, it just seems to be the way I don't know whether it's a, a, a Spanish cultural thing, but there doesn't seem to be the reaction. I'd be surprised if anyone in the Spanish media tomorrow focuses on that element of the game tonight. It was, I from, from how we see yeah, the game I, played, I wouldn't it, be it's, too, um, it's ugly. I wouldn't be too parochial about it. I mean, we you, see it everywhere. We see it in the Premier League. Football mm. is not well, uh, the, the officials don't do a good job. The referee made numerous mistakes tonight, in my opinion. Uh, the German referee. I think you see it in every league. I think you Gigi, see it. that was for you. I, I think, uh, <laughs> no, I think you see it in the I'll Premiership. Yeah. The problem of simulation, which is what Richie yeah. referred to, you see in the average Premier League game all the time. Everyone does it, uh, and it is ugly. And this is a quarterfinal of the, the world's most important soccer competition. And I think Didi's right to be angry. You know, we all love the game. That wasn't a spectacle you'd want to show somebody if you're bringing them to their first soccer match. And even I, who was for Athletic Go, because they're underdogs, because they, uh, you know, they're kind of heroic in that way, uh, even I didn't like what I saw tonight. And football is not well run, Richie, is it? I, mean, I don't, think, I don't I, think it's the referees or the <coughs> officials' yeah. job to, to control how the players react to being kicked or whether they go out with intent to slow a game down or to, 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 to constantly be guilty of creating niggly fouls. That's management. That's coaches' instructions. Ignore the referee. It, it's is not it the referee their job. who's going to set the tone. No, no, no. If the referee yeah, takes no. action the in the game the and yeah. the first 10 minutes, yeah. go, I'm not having any of that, but, but and then the players stop. Because players know what bookings. they'll get away with. He can give free kicks and he can give bookings. And if a player goes down on the ground, it's his job to allow a physio on. The, it's the role of the managers. Managers and coaches can control how their players behave because they have them all week. Like Didi said, he, he's the one that can, can, that can influence their behaviour. You don't listen to a referee no, I, in a match. I, I you don't say, listen to a I referee in a match. I agree with uh, Didi on this. Ramos is a Spanish international. He's one of the most fated players And it's the Spain. referee's job. Hold on, he's, he's always been, um, yeah. uh, he's always had that fire in his belly. But yeah. I think Ancelotti wouldn't want to curb that or any other coach. Pepe has a bit more fire in his head. Mm. You know, um, but you need those warriors, uh, and I think the referee can. But I'm not uh, talking about fire. I don't think we're talking <coughs> about fire or passion here. We're talking about cheating. We're talking about giving the impression to the referee or the or the other officials that you've been on the receiving end of a far more dangerous or, or, or vicious tactic. But that than goes you on in every. But this, but I know, but it's this, not. But I don't, I don't know how the officials well, can is, change that. If, this is where we have to take responsibility as clubs, as as football fans, yeah. as players, because we say the referees made a mistake. He may have made a couple of mistakes, but the players make it hard and hard of him. It's almost impossible. If you have to referee that match, you're the, it, it's the, the most unpleasant job ever because half the time you don't know whether they've been touched or whether they're not. But and, that's and it makes it's it, not the officials that you can blame. It makes it impossible for the referees these days. And I think, think this is where we have to take responsibility because the way the game's been played tonight, the players are losing respect for the game. 
because I'm, I'm all for taking an advantage. If you can gain an advantage somewhere, do it. But you don't go, as uh, Richie uh, refers to Carvajal in the end, he goes down in the box, he's not touched, he rolls around six times trying to get a, a penalty, and another referee may have given the penalty. There's, there's no contact whatsoever. Ronnie and mentioned in commentary that he should have had a yellow card. And he should have right. had a yellow card, yes. See, this is where officials do play. If they have the authority, they should have. But also, the Milan game, at the Juventus game last week, against Monaco was decided on a penalty, a penalty that wasn't a penalty and it was impossible for the referee. Yeah. It was cheating, he got away with it, they got the penalty and they won one nil. Now we need we would in an ideal world we would have a review of that situation yeah. that a referee could go to. And we don't. And I think the result of all the faults and they they the everyone's responsible is that the game is becoming ugly. Uh, and that was an ugly spectacle. And it, it happens in every league, but not to that extent, I mean, Yes, it and does and happen in the Premier League more well, than guys. Like rugby, they're having a review. The international board are looking at trying. They do it every Players four don't years. Approach I think the it referee. is. No, that's the, that's the, of course. But they're talking about playing rules and how things are structured. That some people have been criticising rugby that it's becoming boring. It's just a series of plays. Darren, it happens. And Gaelic games, Gaelic football. There's a big debate about the, the playing style at the moment. There are something has to happen. Otherwise, with more foreigners coming into the Premier League, people play all over the world, South Americans coming here. Something has to be done because otherwise these type of games will become the norm. And that's not what we want. Because we were talking, there was more <coughs> pushing and shoving and arguing yeah. than playing football. And it's not, not what we want. We want to say but it's a game But will Madrid be bothered? They've won. They're in the semi-final. They're not bothered. No. They're Real, not bothered. Me. But it's a, it's a, as Eamon said, it's a spectacle. It's, uh, this, this game is watched by how many hundred millions all over the world? Well, that's the thing. It's like any and sport. People exactly. change the yeah, channel. Well, I couldn't exactly. wait to watch it. I said to you last week, mm -hmm. I paid to watch it, and I must say I was very deflated and disappointed by the sheer amount of cheating, uh, simulation, uh, of cynicism, uh, in particular from Atletico. Um, and I think the, the sport is in trouble, uh, really. If that's the showpiece, mm. the sport is in trouble. I